Starters for MSU Moorhead, Jakir Sanchez, Jacob Meninga, Logan Kinsley, Dean Zimmer, and Jacob Jennison. Jennison is a 7'1 sophomore, but he is not jumping. It's going to be Logan Kinsley at 6'6", jumping against Dylan Peters. Here we go. Fifth-ranked Minnesota State, third-ranked MSU Moorhead. We've been waiting a week, and Moorhead's going to win the tip. They're going from left to right. Uh, that comes MSU. Peters. Peters driving the paint right to the book, and he's fouled. It goes in. Dylan Peters with an and one. And Malik Willingham looks at the crowd right away, and hopefully that gets MSU started. Ronis on him is going to haul a three. That's long. Rebound pulled down by Williams. And Minnesota State can play for the final shot of this first half. If they have that wasted timeout, I think I'd use it and bring Malik in. <laughs> Ran across the, the timeline with 11. Egan's looks over to Coach Morgan Thaler at half court with seven. Now with six. Egan's got to go with five. Egan's pulls up three, top of the key. Justin Egan's his fourth three pointer of the first half. And Minnesota State and Moorhead are done at 33 apiece. Malik, left double, left floater puts it up and good. Malik Willingham with the answer. Malik with 13 points all coming here in the second half. Mavericks up by one, 70 to 69, under two minutes to go. Left side three, Sanchez, and man, he is on fire. Sanchez knocks down another three, his fourth. Here in the last five, six minutes, Dragons up by two, 72 70. He's got 26 points. Malik driving left side, that's an offensive foul. And we're going to call foul on MSU Moorhead. I thought Malik had that, that elbow out. I think the coaching staff for Moorhead thought so too. Shots no good. Foul's going to be called on Jacob Beninga, their top scorer. That's his fourth personal. I'd like to see the replay. I think we might have got away with one. Yeah. So Malik's going to shoot a couple, and he hits the first one. Next one to try to tie things back up with a minute 37 to go. 72-71 MSU Moorhead. Mavericks led by 16 with 10-11 to go. Second free throw is also good. We are tied. 72-72, 97 clicks. Need a stop here, Aaron, right now. That will get the crowd in it. Crowd is back on their feet. Jacob Beninga with it left side. Jacob, right side. Back to the top to Sanchez. He's been the hot hand guarded by Malik. Sanchez looking to go. Sanchez at the free throw line. Sanchez pulls up 12 foot jumper is money. He's got 28 points, 74 72 Dragons. And Malik played great defense. Yeah, you can't play it any tighter. That's just better offense, is all it is. Malik's going to bring it across the timeline. Minute 07 to go. Mavericks down by two. Malik for three, and Malik got it. Malik Willingham, and a timeout is called. Malik Willing, 8 seconds to go from Taylor Center in front of the third largest crowd ever. Beninga, left side drives in. His layup is going to rattle off. Rebound goes on a bounce. Last touch by Moorhead. Oh, he had a real good look at that one, Aaron. He just shot it a little bit too hard. Both teams are in to regain the lead. The good news for Minnesota State, there's a 4.6 second differential. So the Dragons cannot set up for the final shot. Beninga across the timeline. Beninga left side. Beninga's going to hand it off to Sanchez. That's the guy you want shooting the basketball for the Dragons. Sanchez with 28 points around the screen. 16 on the shot clock. Sanchez looking to go at the free throw line. Puts up from 15 feet. Left it short. Rebound by Hayes Camp, and he's followed. Game with 13.8 seconds to go. He got it. 77-74. They're going to take a timeout. Bring it across the timeline. And there's a, there's a timeout. And they're waving behind the backboard here at Taylor Center. 77-75. He hits ball at 77-76. 10.4 seconds to go. They got a foul. Malik's got it at the timeline with seven. Malik's still with it. And a foul is finally called with five. Third-ranked MSU Moorhead by two. Make it three. Malik knocks down both of them. They're going to inbound to Beninga. And they're going to foul right away. Got a couple of dribbles. And he is going to make it front rim, back rim, and down. 79-78. Peters has to get the basketball in. He might have to take a timeout to get into Malik, and Malik is fouled. Just took about .8 off the court. 78. Second one by Malik. He got that one to roll in. 80-78, 3.7 seconds. Sanchez in the back row. Dribbling off his feet. 
lead. It's going to be a turnover. Minnesota State basketball. And Maverick fans can take a deep sigh of relief. Sanchez took one dribble. It went off his foot on a bounce. And what a tough way for this game probably to end for him. Is hit way up in the air. There'll be two free throws. Well, he's going to inbound to get to the Egan's. Egan's going to be fouled with 1.2 seconds. And just... Steady Eddie out there for the Mavericks. Nobody's standing underneath for Minnesota State. Egan's, he Ooh. missed a free throw. Ooh. Well, a couple of missed free throws late. MSU. Now you can almost missing it isn't bad on this. No. 1.2 <laughs> seconds to go. Two-point lead, 80 to 78. Just in second free throw, he made it 81-78. MSU Moorhead's going to have to toss it in and get a shot here. 1.2 seconds to go. It's a baseball pass in the front court. It's caught. The shot is put up. It's going to be no good. Just goes off the back door. It was missed by Kinsley. Kinsley threw up a prayer. Johnny almost got it answered. What a pass. What a catch by Kinsley. A quick shot off the glass and just came off the rim and Minnesota State, the fifth ranked Mavericks survive against third ranked MSU Moorhead and coach Matt Morgan Taylor, he's going right to the student body, to thank Absolutely. them for their support he's going right to the students <laughs> well that's that football team in force over there and oh, he, uh, he's clapping hands he's high five uh, with the front row 81-78, <laughs> Minnesota State stays on top of the conference by themselves 13 and 1, 19 and 1 overall. Minnesota State Moorhead drops to 11 and 3 in conference, 17 and 3 overall. Third biggest crowd in school history, 4,155 fans saw a beauty. Make sure to, to come back here in a few weeks when the Mavericks have four of their last five games right here at Taylor Center.